Good afternoon, guys. I'm here today with the absolutely new Umarex Fusion 2. We are going to unbox this thing and see what it looks like and see how it shoots. Let's start. So suppose you are wanting to get into the air gun game and uh, you've you know started off with some spring guns and you've seen the PCPs, but uh, PCPs run you know starting from a few hundred bucks and on up to several thousand. And you just want to try it out, get that bolt action feel on an air gun. Well, let me tell you, this might be the best way to go. We have got the Umarex Fusion 2 right here. It is 650 feet per second with lead. Lead, let me tell you, there's a big difference there. A lot of the times you see these uh, FPS ratings and it's for lead-free pellets. Well, this is lead. 700 FPS with the alloy pellets. That is outstanding. This thing has some pretty cool stuff. Let's get it open. Let's see what we're looking at. All right. I love a good air gun unboxing. I don't even need my knife. I just like using knives, okay? It's a cool knife. Just can't help it. All right. Let's get this open here. We've got our plenty of styrofoam. Let's put this away. This comes with a scope. It comes with two Umarex magazines right here. Let's see, those are eight, nine, nine round magazines. This is 177. Right, we got in the box. Let's find out what's in the box. We got all the mounting gear for the scope. All right, let's get this open. We've got our instructions, shooter kit, advertisement, everything that you would need there. Excellent. Move that out of the way. Oh yeah. Woo! Woo! Look at that. Mm. That is some nice design. It's very light, which I like a lot. Uh, this is gonna be great for new shooters and experienced shooters alike. You'll be able to have a whole lot of fun with this and it's, it's so light, I think my kids can handle this. I mean, that's awesome. We got the bolt here. This is a nice extended bolt. Pulls back real easy. Yeah, that's amazing. And now the interesting thing about this is that it takes CO2 magazines right here. So let's get that opened up. Da, 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 da. There we go. It comes with this extra little screw right here. Now this is specifically so that you can get the CO2 in first and then you puncture it. There's a little uh, needle of sorts or blade in there. So when you load them first, and I'll show this to you, Put one in this way, the second in the opposite way, and then you're gonna screw them on. There we go, there's the first. There's the second. Awesome. All right, we are in, we are pressurized and good to go. Okay, so we got that pressurized. Let's, uh, you do not have to worry about dry firing these, although most air guns nowadays, you don't have to worry about that at all, but they're are several brands that recommend that you do not if it's a brake barrel, but this is not a brake barrel. Let's rack it. Let's take a listen. Oops. On safe. <laughs> I like the fact that it has that safety and fire right there. Wouldn't let me shoot without it. Okay, let's, let's go here. Wow, that is quiet. So the big cool thing about the Fusion 2, in my opinion, is this right here. The silence air, this thing makes it so quiet. You just heard that, let's do it again. All right, listen. <laughs> it's hardly a crack, guys. That is outstanding, and that's empty. That's empty and it's that quiet. When we load a pellet in there, I bet it'll be even more quiet, just because of the dynamics of how air pressure works in these but I'm excited to give this a go. I like the fact that the butt pad is completely rubberized. This thing feels like I could drop it and you know, kick it around a little bit and it wouldn't be hurt at all. So I'm gonna get this uh, scope on. 
Let's get these magazines loaded. I've got some uh, H&N Sport here, trophy target pellets. We're gonna get this loaded up into the magazine and then we're gonna go take it to our range and fire it and see what we can do with it. Make sure if you have uh, any issues with one pellet, try a different pellet, see how it works. Today I've got the H&Ns because they're a very good pellet brand. They make really good quality stuff. Um, RWS also works well in these. It's Numeraic's brand, so they just jive really well. Let's get some of these out. Now these are the 8.64 grain, so it's a, it's a little bit heavier, but not super heavy. This is loading really easy. I mean, I'm impressed. I have never loaded this before. I'm opening this for the first time, um, and I'm not having any issues with it, other than just learning. <laughs> it should slide in. Now, the nice thing about this is there's a little bead here at the bottom that acts as a retention bead, and that retention bead right there should keep the magazine tight so it doesn't fall out. There we go. Closed up. Ready to go. All right. I'm excited, guys. Let's look at this uh, scope here. This is a little four by scope, which, you know, is pretty standard. But for the fact that this is only a little over a hundred bucks, it's quite impressive that they came with a scope included. We got just a simple scope here, super lightweight. Let's get this uh, going here. They look down at the wrong way. <laughs> all right, this looks awesome. Let's get it in there. I love the fact that uh, all these brands send their own hex wrenches. I have 50 million hex wrenches from all the different scopes that I've opened and installed over my lifetime. But it's really nice because I don't have to worry about bringing any of those with me when I'm out here in the field. All right, scope setup is super simple. You just take your rings, you stick them on where they're going to match with the scope and your eye relief. Now this is important. I'm going to just put these on here at the get-go just to give me a reference, a reference point. I like the fact that these are Picatinny rails, by the way. Most air guns come with the dovetail rail, and that's fine and dandy, but it's not the most common thing in the firearms industry. Uh, Picatinny is. So the fact that this already comes with that is really nice. I appreciate that. That's uh, sort of a design thing that I think is very well thought out by the engineers at Umarex which are really good guys, by the way. Let's see, oh, I forgot to mention the M-lock right on here on the grip. M-lock inserts so that you can attach all sorts of tools and whatnot, lights, lasers, anything that you need right there. You could even put a bipod on this uh, by attaching the proper attachment here and then you can stick the bipod on, give you an extra solid rest. That's really impressive for, I, what is this, MSRP 116 something around there, ballpark, don't quote me on that. But having all of that in this little gun is really, really, really nice. Okay, those are just on loose. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scope, lay it on there, and see where the eye relief needs to be for me specifically. And I think there is perfectly comfortable be a little further back. Okay, there we go. So right there. Now, getting a scope level is tough. If you have a level, that's a great thing. If you don't, just eyeball it the best that you can. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the top of the scope ring on only loosely for a second, just to barely hold it on there. You're going to do that for both of the rings. And then after you're done, you're going to look down the scope again and make sure that your reticle is level with everything that you want it to be. A really good idea when doing this is to have some sort of flat reference point that's directly in front of you so that you can look at that compared to the reticle. So for example, I've got my shooter's tent set up in the distance. If I wanted to, I can look down here. I can see that uh, it's level. Actually, that is really level already. Maybe a little bit of an adjustment. Perfect. And it's level with the shooter's tent in the distance, which gives you a good reference point for installing these. Now the trick afterwards is not bumping the scope at all so that you don't lose that level. All right, let's take one more look. That looks awesome. That is on and ready to go. All right, guys, we got the scope attached. Let's go shoot this. Let's see, let's get it sighted in first and then uh, see what fun we can have with it. 
All right, let's see here. Nice. These are the first shots that I've set up on this thing. So it's inaugural flight here. Wow. That was right over the first hole. Plus we got a little bit of wind out here, not too bad. Holy cow. Woo. <laughs> Except for that one flyer, we got hole over hole over there. All right, I'm gonna refill this. I'm, well, let's make some adjustments to the scope. So it's going right where I want it to. And then we'll start having some real fun, shall we? All right. Just a little high. There we go. Woo! All right, that's what I like to see. gust there. Last one. All right. Woo. All right. Yeah, it's windy. It's windy, all right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Do them a little hole, guys. Wow. All right, I had a couple of flyers there. Man, not bad, not bad at all. Woo. All right, we got our two groups here. We got the first one, yeah, it's about two inches, more or less. Um, then our second one, we had couple of different groupings here but again it's about two inches we were just nailing that center man and then I don't know what I did to miss those but not bad at all for 120 bucks yeah baby just shooting offhand a good kneeling position let's see how we do oh I missed all right there we go See what we can do. Woo! This is not as easy as it looks, guys. <laughs> oh, well, it got me a bullseye. That's not bad, but not good either. There we go, looking for a grouping there. Not too shabby, all right. Uh, wind, 
There we go. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> From the kneeling position, not bad at all. All right. Happy for shooting offhand. Not too shabby at all. At least for me, anyway. <laughs> all right. Hey, you know, if I can make about the same group offhand as I can shooting bench rest or off of something, then uh, that's, that's pretty good. Pick yourself up a nice, quiet fusion to this thing with the silencer suppressor on the front or whatever you want to call it. Silencer suppressor. It's a suppressor, guy. It's a suppressor. So pick yourself up one. You can be in your backyard practicing and getting ready for your next range day. Keep shooting. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I appreciate you guys coming. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Gonna have some fun outdoors, guys. That's pretty comfortable. Let's give it a shot. Or two or 60. We're in buck territory. Yes! I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Yes, I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Having fun out here. And just enjoy all of this. Because after watching these videos, I hope you do. Yeah, buddy.